um, but uh, it basically it's like a clock when you look at a clock ticking if you bring another clock that's ticking at a different rate next to that clock yes. eventually the they're both going to start ticking at the same rate. Right. And so women get their periods at the same time. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> it's, the same, it's the same thing. So when we're listening to these sounds that are at a higher level of frequency, a higher level of vibration, it's actually allowing the body to come and rise up to mm -hmm. that state of vibration mm -hmm. as well. Cool. The law of entrainment. There we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, there you go. The law of entrainment. That's what it's mm -hmm. called. Yes. Actually, um, speaking of sound healing, mm -hmm. and you talked about the meditations, and um, you kind of walked us through what happens during the yoga and sound healing uh, sessions that you do. Um, what about the salt caves? I'm curious, how does doing sound healing in, let's say, a yoga studio differ from doing it in a salt cave? <laughs> <laughs> That's like my little uh, specialty event that I just adore. I'm mm. um, not to pick favorites or anything. <laughs> I love all my events. <laughs> um, this event, I discovered um, this. It's I, I think it's the only sal uh, uh, salt cave in Quebec, um, in Europe. This has been become a very very um, uh, has been around for many many years. Which we call halotherapy, which is salt therapy. Mm. They actually have real caves in in Europe, and I believe in certain places in the states as well. But Quebec is slow. I find Quebec sometimes is a little slow to pick up on on these things like a lot of places in Ontario already have the caves and mm -hmm. and stuff like that as well but basically halotherapy is salt therapy and it's um, it's really good for the skin it's really good for the respiratory system uh, they say it's equivalent to being two days at the beach it has the same effect mm -hmm. on the body really being in the salt cave and so can you describe what it looks like Yes, and I just want to add too oh, is that sure. what it does is it, it emanates a negative ions in the air, which actually help clear the energy in the space. Okay. So I'm sure you've seen those salt lamps before right. when you put them in a in a room. It helps purify the energy in the room. Mm -hmm. So the cave, um, this it's a man-made cave. So it's basically like um, like a room like this that's just been transformed into a, ca okay. a salt cave, and the whole the entire walls are covered in salt. The floor is covered in salt, and there's also a machine that will put the salt into the air simultaneously oh, at the same wow. time. Oh. Yes. <clears throat> so when you're in that space and it, it feels like I, it feels like you're on another planet. <laughs> like I always tell people to fasten their seatbelts before we start the session because it feels like we really go somewhere else. And then I have my gong and I guide people through a meditation where we actually go somewhere else. We travel mm. through light years okay. in our imagination and while I do the sound. So in that space, it really kind of creates this, this almost double whammy of healing effects because you've got the salt therapy going around going around the room and then you have the sound healing at the same time so it's almost like an elevated and sort the guided of healing. meditation and the guided how meditation how do you do it all how do you I, i'm just wondering do you ever like you, you must have an amazing multitasking brain that you can play your, your, your bowls and all your instruments and guide a meditation at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it goes well with my ADD personality. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds amazing. Yeah. It's, it just flows out of me. It's like I don't even know, like a lot of, I just go in there and I, I, I just plug in and then right. it just comes out of me. So, so. so being in, in a salt room, if you want to call it that, or salt cave, you're saying it's a blissful experience? You, you Absolutely. really you bliss out even before any of this? Absolutely. This cave that's in La Prairie, mm -hmm. uh, it's actually open for the public. So you can book sessions where you bring your family. They even have toys and stuff. So you wow. can just come into and the room hang out. and book an hour session. And wow. they have lounge chairs. So that, that's, that's what the business is. So people huh. just go there, especially people with respiratory problems, right. emphysema, or other okay. various things. Mm -hmm. Even if you're sick in the winter, like you know, dry cough stuff like that. I remember being sick before um, before I started um, one of the sessions there, and then my I think my cold or my sinuses just completely cleared up wow. after after a couple of days. Yeah, it was it was amazing. Even it's then. incredible that not more people know about this. You know that that it's I don't know. I, I found out about it through you, mm. but I had never heard of these salt caves before so many amazing things that are out there to discover, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely, yes. So how has Dr. Bally's method influenced you? How has it changed uh, A, your life, and B, the, the way you practice? Um, well, I think, I mean, Dr. Bally's, like... 
I like the fact that he's he's so accessible, you know? Mm-hmm. He's doing all these events, he's traveling. Awesome. I, I, that's he, He's a really amazing <laughs> example, I, I think, for for a- anybody who meets him, you know, just the, the things that he's doing at, at 93, 94 years old, yes. you know, is, is just incredible that, you know, and just being, and I, and I said to him once, and I always remember, we were in the Omega Center, and this is one of the, the quotes that's probably answer your question a little bit, is he said, I asked Dr. Bali, like, how do you do it? How do you get all this energy? Because, you know, I'll look at my, my parents who are, who are slowly getting mm-hmm. older and, you know, and other people around mm-hmm. me that are, you know, it's not easy getting older. You have a lot mm-hmm. of aches and pains in the body. You know, my parents are not very mobile anymore to mm-hmm. travel and stuff like that. And, and I'm like, Dr. Bali, how do you do it? And he says, because it's not in the doing, it's in the being. Mm. <laughs> so, which are such great words of wisdom, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's easier mm. said than done, but, yes. it's, uh, <laughs> but it's just about really being present, you know, re- really being present in the moment and also following your bliss, you know, following what, what is important for you, what you're called to do on this planet. You know, if you're really kind of living through the heart, it's, such, it's so important um, because it really allows that space that to, to really be fully expressed, you know, and allowing the energy to flow through you from mm-hmm. the universe and beyond. So it's wonderful advice for anyone watching or everyone. It really applies to everyone. Like you say, when we're following our bliss um, and when we, we practice being. Absolutely. Like I used to be, I used to work in the corporate environment and, um, and I, I'm, a lot of people work in that environment. It can be very stressful sometimes yeah. and, and be very, you know, cause a lot of anxiety, you know, a lot of sleepless nights. And I remember I was still in that environment while I was, um, I was started my training with Dr. Bali and I started noticing how on a regular basis, how much anxiety and how much in a state of anxiety and how stressed I was just in everyday life, you know, thinking and, and wanting to do and complete and, and all of these tasks and to-do lists that were building up in my head of, you know, this is what I should be doing and this is what I, sh- you know, shouldn't be doing. and societal programming. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, you know, and then, and it's just so, and that causes so much stress on the body, you know, and then the more mm-hmm. you can, I think one of, another thing I got from Dr. Valley is, you know, just learning how to really be present and okay with how things are. You know, Mm -hmm. that everything is perfect the way it is, even when it's not perfect the way it is, you know, and just learning to be okay with that, Mm -hmm. you know, and I think that's such a huge thing Mm -hmm. because we have this idea of how things should be and then we, and then when they're not like that, it's like the end of the world and it causes so much stress. So it's like really learning to just be. And, and to accept and appreciate, like you're saying, like Dr. Bali was saying, that there's cer- cer- certain si- situations that uh, may feel stressful or may feel, you know, not so pretty or not so great. But um, it's, I think it takes less energy to accept things in a way and absolutely. appreciate than it does to fight it and control it. And <laughs> absolutely. And the more that I've, and since meeting him, I do that so much more in my life. Like, I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm still, you know, learning and growing, mm. but just compared to like how I was before and the things that I used to stress over now, it's like, you know, you're going to be late. You're going to be late, you know, and mm-hmm. just yeah. simple things like Dr. Bali, we had a stress uh, management workshop with Sharon. Um, in November and Dr. Bali was staying in India and we found out about a week before and we had all these people signed up and our first reaction was oh my god what are we gonna do right because that's a natural state of stress to be in and then it was like you know what we you stayed on our integrity we emailed everybody in the group we let them know you know and um, nobody ended up wanting a refund which was amazing you know I guess with Sharon and I we both had so much other things to offer right. and, and I'm also a student of Dr. Bali so I can pass on a lot of um, the teachings as well and the, the session was beautiful and amazing and we were sold out and we're doing another one now and we have amazing so it's it's just it's you know and it just the letting go and accepting you know like it's okay you know so you mentioned that you do um, one-on-ones get-togethers or sessions I guess um, no, group events, you said. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you see it progressing? Like, if we were to fast forward <coughs> five, ten years, mm. would you be doing the exact same thing? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I haven't thought that far ahead yet, but I know that one of my big dreams is to have a bed and breakfast in Costa Rica. 
Uh, and Who doesn't love costume? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's something for everyone. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So I'd love to continue doing these type of sessions also with my music, you know, be able to, to uh, do concerts and mm -hmm. even cook. I love to cook, you know, I make holistic food for people. Oh, that yeah, good. Good you have a sub <laughs> <laughs> I like to do a lot of many things. That it keeps yeah. life fun and interesting, right? And, and you, just what you mentioned now, if you have a center or base, it's very easy to do. Yeah. At this point, a lot of people are asking me, where are you located? And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm mobile, you know? Yes. So I even do sound healing if somebody wants to do it in their home, like for the holidays, yes. you know, with their family or friends and come over and have a little party where I guide a meditation that's catered for them specifically for the new moon or the, mm -hmm. the full moon or, you know, the, the winter solstice that's coming yeah. up. So I also do sessions like that. So I, I'd like to eventually have like a, a home, like, um, a home base, but I'm, I'm kind of allowing the universe to kind of guide me yeah. of when... You need this now, because you're exploring and yeah. picking up information, maybe picking up other avenues, you know, it, I, I get it. I, yeah. I'm doing the same thing, yeah. actually, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. And so while you're mobile, how do, you, how do people most find you? How do they find, find out about your events? Yes, um, so you can go on my website, uh, daliamarom.com, uh, or my Facebook page, Dahlia Yoga Sound Healing. Um, also on Instagram, it's Dahlia Yoga Sound Healing, and Twitter is Dahlia Marom. I hope I got all that right. <laughs> <laughs> and is your music, just a, uh, on a side note, is your music on your website as well, or how do we uh, listen to your music? Yes, so, so if, I can, if I can just add as well, the new album that I'm working on with my wonderful producer, his name is Rad Crosto, uh, who's worked with uh, people like uh, Patrick Bernard and Leah Longo, yes. are pretty well known in the community. Mm -hmm. yes. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful soul. Um, so we're just finishing a project right now that's very inspired by the sound healing journey and the yoga mm -hmm. journey I've been on. It's still a pop-based project, but it's, mm. I call it spirit pop, so it's like spirit very <laughs> spiritual <laughs> messages, <laughs> and it's all recorded in 432 hertz, which is mm. the healing frequency of the universe and the earth that I mentioned mm. earlier. So, um, and that will soon be on my website, and we're also going to be planning on doing a launch along with a meditation album. Uh, that will also be released um, at the same time. So okay. sometime in 2018, or sometime in 2018. Right now is the goal. Okay. Um, so yes, I will definitely mm. uh, be be posting about that, and more information will be to come for that as well. Exciting! Yes, yes. <laughs> very exciting. So uh, Dahlia, thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. It's a pleasure meeting you and getting a taste of who you are and what you do. Yes, it was a pleasure meeting you guys too. This is lovely, and I'm glad I brought you guys on the floor. <laughs> I'm glad you brought your bowl. Here. Yes. We got down on the ground for this event, just for you guys. <laughs> Amazing. And this is the only interview we'll likely be ending with sound. Yes. Right. <laughs>